Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, as you can see, we have an unbagging today. And yes, I need a drink. It's been that kind of a morning. So, let's get it open and see who it's from. Seems to be a few things in here. That's something on the bottom. Well, this is from Everyday E-Crafts. And, as you can see, I got a hoop. Never had a oval hoop before. I, I don't know. I, you know, might use it as a decoration. That kind of thing. You know, like to put some kind of a cross stitch in it. Or, I just might use it. It does have the screw top here. And, I don't know, a long hundred years ago, we used to put, um, what do you call it? Oh, what is that stuff called? Bias tape? Is that the right word? Around all this. It is kind of rough in a couple of places. So, I might do that. Or, I might just save it to put something in that's going to be in there permanently. But, I just thought it was beautiful. And I don't have a price for it. I'm sorry. I will have a link for it down there because this was a last minute thing. I had to replace something. This comes in two sizes and I don't know if the other one's round or oval. I can't remember. But it's large and small is how it comes. Of course. Hang on. My goodness. Yes. Here we are. We're making a video. But you just unscrew it as far as you want I wouldn't take it all the way out and then put your material in there and it grasps it and then you just tighten it up so yeah I don't know I thought I'd try one of their hoops to see how it was and that kind of thing so I, I'm sure it's like maybe five four or five dollars maybe I'm not sure so let's get on to the cross stitching so, I got this one. It's upside down. I'm going to take it out of the bag. Hang on. And that way you can see everything. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of like a watercolor of those, um, what do you call them, primroses? Is that what they are? The small little wild roses. But I just thought it was kind of pretty. Now this one, I can tell you, it was, it's a 40 by 50 and it was $9.99. It is a DIY cross stitch. does come with a paper pattern, the shiny paper pattern. And from I can read this, but if I was going to use it for any amount of time, I would blow it up. It does have 27 colors. It does have the colors down the side. The DMC number and the symbol and this whole thing matches the I'm looking to see what Molly was doing sorry matches the uh, the canvas so you don't have to worry about that everything matches symbols and all the whole thing does have the product number how big it is and how many squares per square so it's fair size, you know, it's it's a nice size. I like the 40 by 40, 40 by 50s, and I also like the big ones too. So, you know, you never can tell with me what I'm going to get or buy. Now this, I don't think that number, let me look. Yes, they wrote 2066 on this, and it's right up here. So that number does match the pattern number, if you will. But look at all those lovely, antique -y looking watercolor colors. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Nice and long. Look at that pink. Woo! Beautiful. Gorgeous. Then we have a little bit of lavender in there. So just a little bit of everything. Lots of greens. It's even yellow and kind of a shell peach. And like a pale, pale, pale purple, purple, if I could just talk. 
yeah, just beautiful threads, nice and soft. Love them. Let's take a look at the canvas. I'm going to move this over just because every time I lay my arm on it, it crinkles. And I hate that. There are two needles right here. They do have the product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square, just like on the pattern. And it does have all the DMC numbers, even the color numbers. I think it's just how wide the picture is as to if they put those colors in. But it's nice when you're looking for a particular color. But very nice, very big, easy to read. Even the canvas is easy to read. It does look a little confetti. I mean, there's just a lot going on, so I'm not real sure how good or how bad this is all going to stitch up. Let me see here. How big it is. It is 50. by 40 right on the money and the actual picture is 15 and a half inches or 39 and a half centimeters by almost 30 which is a little over 11 and a half so it's not very big does have some big areas hang on I'm trying to roll that up and put it over there because you know stuff happens around here there's some big areas to stitch and then there's bigger areas on the flowers so there's like one there's several colors within each one of those flowers I don't know if you can actually see those flowers there's one right there and there's one right there and there's some greenery and stuff down here so the flowers kind of go up and in, in a triangle but yeah I thought it was cute I thought it was different and pretty it didn't look like a photograph when I looked at the picture so hopefully it'll stitch that way very nice very very nice for $9.99 for $10 that's cheap entertainment I'm sorry it is so now let's get this one out of its crinkly crinkly bag whoops and I will put a picture of this here so that you can see what it totally looks like but I thought it was kind of pretty it's a 45 by 67 so it is fair size and you do stitch the frame can you see that frame yeah just absolutely beautiful and it's 169 by 265 so that's pretty fair size and this part is very big, but the key is kind of small. It does have 34 colors, and it barely has the, the colors that you stitch it with here. Um, the, it has, you can read the DMC and the symbol and the number for the thread card, but the colors are kind of washed out here. But it's printed very nicely here, and this is nice and big. It is graphed all the way around so you know where your squares are and what's what so that's good and it's nice and big I'm trying to unfold it it's on shiny paper it does have instructions over here but I like that they made the actual picture a lot bigger there's a lot of background to this yeah that's why we have hoops and hoops of yeah different colors but it's nice to see that the pattern is big enough to see so and very easy to read don't know about that background part but hey we'll get to it now this kit does come with a little sewing kit if you will I don't know what else to call it you have a poof ball five needles a thimble a needle threader and a bobbin I just keep collecting the bobbins I bought some God, it's been a couple, couple years ago, maybe even more. Um, of like a, a bag of a thousand, I was going to uh, wrap all of my DMC thread. Oh, that didn't happen. Yeah, I did about eight of them, and I'm like, okay, I'm bored to tears. Yeah, I guess I should be doing watching TV or something while I'm doing it. It just didn't do a thing for me, and I couldn't handle it. And I wanted to get a bigger 
container to put the actual little bobbins in. Yeah, that, that project never got off the ground because it was just too much for my brain. I, I can't do meaningless stuff for hours. I know, I cross-stitch, and that's just an X, so that's kind of meaningless too. But, you know, at least you're getting somewhere. With that, it would would have been like a never-ending project. So it comes with two hanks. Get down, please. 3761. That's a beautiful blue. It's kind of a seafoam blue, if you will. It's gorgeous. And then you got two, three, four of 386. Oh, nope, nope. Three of 3865, I think. No, 3756. That's your background. And then one of 3865. I didn't. I thought that it, this has kind of a a green tone to it compared to this. This has kind of a cream look to it. So yeah. So there's lots of extra back threads. Let's take a look at the big threads or the rest of the threads, I should say. I'm trying to get everybody to hang. So we have some like burgundy and peaches and kind of a, a pale rust or medium rust, if you will. Some beautiful blues and greens and more blues. There's lots and lots of blues in this. Just beautiful. And then you have like a pale, pale yellow green. I, I don't know how else to explain that either. Then we have a bit of well, I don't know what color that is, but it's kind of a peach color, like a pale peach. Then you have a dark gold for maybe the centers of flowers or something. I don't know. Just absolutely beautiful, beautiful colors. Just gorgeous. Look at all that. Lots of greens and blues. Just awesome. So let me put this with this and fold all this up. That way it does not get lost or separated. That's a lot of thread. Let's take a look at the canvas. This canvas is surged all the way around. I'm trying to get it unfolded here. I'm going to have to I'll put it this way for right now. It does have a nice key over here. The threading does not, you know, the surging on the side isn't into the numbers. So you can definitely see the the DMC colors and numbers and the printed very nicely very darkly printed onto the, the thing so you can see it does not look real real um what do you call it like confettied there seems to be rivers of colors and you have bigger areas and of course like I said it does have the entire frame thing that you have to build as well so that's kind of pretty there is a picture there, but, you know, it, it's worse than the picture that's on the other thing. So, that won't be happening. But just kind of beautiful. And this kit was $16.99. does have the product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square. Let's take a look at how big it is. Ouch. It is supposed to be 45 by 67. So it is 44. Give or take a lump or two over here. I'm trying to get it as flat on the canvas as I can. By 65 and a half. And the whole thing is. Fifty-nine and a half, which is twenty-three inches by. Now that's counting that built-in frame you're going to have to stitch by thirty-eight and a half, which is about fifteen inches. So fifteen by twenty-three, somewhere around there, twenty-two, twenty-three. 
so not too bad and most of your stitching is the background so I don't know I, I'd toss a coin in maybe just do the bucket of flowers and everything else is a wash you know there's some bee not bees what do you call those things dragonflies you know I'd get the dragonflies in there and whatever else is up in this corner I can't remember at this point uh, I might do that but the background when there's this much background I just I gotta walk away I just cannot cannot but I'd do the rest of them and it looked perfectly fine on a white background you know with all your stuff done you wouldn't have to go. it's just all in what you want to do if you want to take the time to stitch all that go for it knock yourself out no I I think I'll pass because all these colors after you've stitched whatever you're going to stitch you wash it in um what do you call it lukewarm water and it comes out so it, it's gone it doesn't matter and then you'll just have this beautiful bouquet here in the middle so that might be something that I might consider I'm not real sure just just saying but that's the way I would do it not necessarily the way that you would do it well thank you everyday e-crafts for sending me these beautiful beautiful kits and the lovely hoop I, I'm gonna try it on my counted cross stitch surely and see how it goes and if it works right I don't know that I'll go get the binding tape to do that to wrap it around I'm not sure I, I've just never had a oval hoop to work with so we'll see alright guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe please hit the bell and that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy we'll see you next time God bless bye bye you know I was doing this and I was getting ready to put you know the stuff back together so we wouldn't lose anything and I forgot to tell you about everyday e crafts they do have great customer service and that if there's any specials buy one get one you know that kind of thing I will put that in the description box along with the links for each and every one of these products they do have diamond painting paint by number cross stitch embroidery they also have I mean cross stitch and embroidery my bad they have custom and I'm not sure if that's for all three of the diamond painting paint by number and cross stitch I'm not sure do check that out they have wooden puzzles they have regular puzzles they do have a separate joy Sunday section they have tools and crafts for diamond painting and cross stitch and they do have tools for paint by number they also have beaded cross stitch but it's only the little keychains and they do have paper crafts I think like quilling is that how you say that word uh, die cutting dies silicone molds and all other things that are crafty do check them out I'm sorry I didn't mention that before it's just been that kind of a day I am so sorry everyday e crafts now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy we'll see you next time God bless bye bye